Boom! We have a lot to talk about. So, I had, like, a lot to talk about, but... Because, like, I have, like, three different things to talk about. So, yeah, I kind of wanted to, like, split it up, talk about those three things, but that was kind of long. So, I'll just, like, do it all together and then just do... And then just have, like, the YouTube thing where I'll just, like, divide it so you can just, like, cut to each of those parts where I talk about it. to Just so everyone who likes certain areas of it will easily just get what they want to hear. So, for, for this portion, let me start off by talking about what happened last night. So, last night was CEO, the, um, the big major, the second, like, biggest major, second to, in fighting games, second to uh, EVO was last night and it was like one of the best grand finals for guilty gear strive congrats to uh k7 for an amazing set that was an amazing leo but after that match arc um arc system warps dropped two trailers one for a guilty gear character and a and I, something i never thought i would see look it's beautiful just just, just look at i'm going to stare at this at, for the rest of my life just knowing how beautiful this is and that is rollback netcode coming to blaze blue cross tag battle and blaze blue central fiction we did it we did everybody we did it so if you look here you'll see that it says um public test for steam so if you're on ps4 and the switch <sighs> yeah no that's not coming so rip but for Let's see, so let me go to... Yep, so here we go, Black Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. The one I play, the one everyone plays, the one where all the fine games fans are for Tag Team Battles. Um, yeah, that will be given a rollback support in 2022. That one said... So both of them are set to launch in... What is it? Um, February 2022. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. King of Fighters comes out. No. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I'm definitely excited. Don't get me wrong. I'm definitely doing more Blaze Blue con content in the future. I'm going to be doing a lot more fighting game content in the future. But. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's still more to talk about. So. I, I, this, is before, I, this is before I even like started editing this. Like I, I was, I just found, I just checked my mail like right before I started um, recording. So I'm gonna just open this. Yes, I just tear open. Ah, uh, there we go. This is my card for the Game Awards co-streamer because I'm going to be co-streaming it December 9th at 7:30 p.m. In Eastern Time at 4 4:30. So hold up. Wait, hold up. Okay. Wait, is this the same oh, whoops. Okay, so. Yeah, here we go. So let me also just read this. So it says, Thank you so much for signing up to be an official co streamer of the Game Awards. Seven years ago, back in 2014, I created the Game Awards as a way to celebrate our shared passion for video games. This year on Thursday, December 9th, we will recognize the years best games and give you a spectacular preview of where games are come, going in 2022 and beyond. Please accept this limit, limited edition co-streamer credential as a special thank you for sharing the show with your audience. I look forward to seeing you live on this Thursday, December 9th. The pre-show begins at 4.30 Pacific Time, 7.30 Eastern Time at thegameawards.com. Best, Jeff Keighley. It's a, he's also signed there. Look at that. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. <clears throat> really appreciate it oh and this is the uh this is my tag look i got my own tag let's go Ooh, i got my own tag this is so sweet so yeah that's my next discussion the game awards oh my gosh this is gonna be a this is gonna be a long one so here's something funny so i'm actually in so before this a sonic movie discord opened up and I was in there and I was just like messing around with like the people that were in there just um having fun chatting with them and then this tweet comes out of nowhere and I just see whole everyone freaking out in the chat in the general chat with um Sonic just straight up saying hey Jeff do you have any extra invites 
to the Game Awards. Oh my god! I, 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 I can't mess with I think I nearly lost most of my voice. <laughs> I, I can't. So we are definitely getting some Sonic content in there. So I don't know if it's the trailer. I kind of think we'll get it either... I know it sounds crazy, but I feel like tomorrow or Thursday. Like, I feel that anything big will either drop on, like, a Thursday or a Friday at, like, the end of the week. That's the impression I mainly get. But, yeah, we might finally get the Sonic Frontier game or whatever it's called. Um, or the Sonic Origins or the movie trailer. So, that is going to be interesting. Oh, my gosh. The craziest thing about it is that um, before I um, this tweet came out, there was like a lot of people speculating from like this tweet from Nibble talking about how um, there's going to be like some Elden Ring level hype trailers. Like I think they, they said four to five in that thing. Let me see here. Let me just read it. So I was very happy because the trailer was great. It was a great asset, a highly anticipated game that really developed delivered. There were a lot of things um, that were good about it, so yes, I uniquely excited to be able to bring that to people this year. Oh god, there are probably about four or five things of that level, so if that is true, so here's what I'm guessing. So obviously we have the Sonic Frontier game, which is going to be one, so we already know about that, but there's also possibly the chance of the... Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, possibly, because, like, a lot of people have been talking about that. And then, I don't know about a God of War Ragnarok trailer. That's, hmm, I don't know. But, I, I think, this is the one I feel like we might be getting in. And that might be another NRS game, because, like, it has been, I'd say, two years now. And, um... MK11 stopped getting updates and support back in April. It was announced, or no, not April. It was, it was either June or July. It was probably July because they said that they're not supporting the game anymore, so they can work on their next project. So we're going to have to see what that next project is. So it could either go two two ways, but a lot of people haven't said they might work on like a Marvel game, but I don't see that happening. At all, just with all like the other Marvel ha stuff happening right now. Because speaking of which, we just got um, a Spider Verse two trailer, so that was awesome. And Spider Man to Fortnite, so that's already two crazy things that happened um this past week. So yeah, it's it's the Spider Month, everybody. But yeah, I either see Mortal Kombat twelve or Injustice three. Now. I, I want, I kind of want the, I, I, I don't really want MK12, I don't, I don't know how, how to feel about MK12 because, um, we're supposed to get, um, the cycle's supposed to go MK, then Injustice, then MK, and then, um, I thought they were going to do Injustice again, but that's not going to be the pattern again this year, so, I don't know, because if, I want to see also how they will handle it, because, um, there are a lot of characters missing and because like we still have no many uh, not many ninjas they're missing a lot of um 2d era characters so i get the feeling that if they are to do another mortal Kombat, um i think it would possibly be like a super smash brothers ultimate type of game where they bring everybody back um just for like this big um big game similar because um next year for those who actually don't know mk is going into its 30th anniversary so that might be why we might see mk12 so well we'll have to see how that goes but i'm definitely hyped oh my gosh well that's gonna be it um i would have more to talk to about but that's all i got i gotta go do a race in spider man ps4 with one of my friends and i gotta start getting some other stuff ready so thank you guys for watching remember the game awards are at thursday i'll be co-streaming it's gonna be fun it's gonna be great and i shall see you all there see ya oh yeah i also forgot to mention this while i was editing um biking was also revealed um last night as well <laughs>